Ahmadullahi wa barakatuh, my brothers and sisters. I thought I'd just come in quickly uh, to let you know that a lot of people have been forwarding me some fake AI generated, artificial intelligence generated videos, meaning the audio on it is fake and they've used videos. to try and prove that someone is al-Mahdi and you know like we as scholars not just me but quite a few scholars have endorsed this whole thing and uh, they, they are trying to really push that this person is al-Mahdi and it was time for Fajr prayer I then hear someone say that it is now time for Fajr prayer and we must pray first Isa alayhi salam proclaims loudly that today Qasim will lead the prayer then I say to Isa alayhi salam that in the presence of a prophet, who am I to lead the prayer? You must lead the prayer. And Isa alayhi salam responds back saying, No, today you will have to lead the prayer. Isa alayhi salam continues to say that, Qasim, I want to pray behind you so that all these people can witness that I am also here to follow the Islam of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And I'm not here to establish another religion I am here to follow the path of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and when I pray behind an ummati of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam then people will realize this Usually when a person struggles with their mental well-being, as a Muslim, they begin to feel that they have these supernatural powers. They begin to feel that they are Al-Mahdi. On 23rd February, Allah told me to do some work in my dream and I am doing that. Some people say to me that you are misguiding people by using the name of Allah and His Messenger. Some say that you have written these dreams yourself and you are trying to make it seem to people that you are the Mahdi while some say that you are a liar. Today, I am answering all of these questions. Neither have I used the name of Allah and His Messenger to mislead people, nor have I written these dreams myself, nor have I ever claimed to be the Mahdi. I am not a Messiah. I am not even a scholar. I am only a simple man, and I do not ask for any reward from anyone. Muhammad wasallam is the last prophet of Allah and the mercy of Allah is for everyone. And I just want to be a friend of Allah, that's all. And it should be really clear now. These dreams are from Allah and I've tried my best to narrate them exactly as I have seen them. And only Allah can change these dreams into reality. And I only ask for help from Allah and Allah is my wakil. I haven't ever forced anyone to believe in these dreams. Everyone has the right to either believe in them or deny them. Allah and Muhammad وسلم, have told me to share these dreams and that's what I'm doing. Allah also told me that Qasim, if anyone calls you a liar, then tell him that you come and I will come too. And then both of us will send the curse of Allah upon the liar. And whoever uses the name of Allah and Muhammad وسلم, to mislead people, then he should remain in hellfire forever. And indeed, the curse of Allah is upon the liars. As Allah says, I've come across more than 50 cases of people who really said, I'm Al Mahdi. I remember when I was studying in Medina, Munawwara, one of the guys took the microphone uh, in the university, uh, in the masjid, and said, Al Mahdi al Muntadar. This has happened in the Haram in, in, in Mecca as well. And, and you know, it's just, uh, it's, uh, they're going through some really stress, you know serious mental challenges and so on and we pray for them and inshallah i hope that allah grant them cure but the point being raised here is these people are gaining momentum they're enjoying it when they were engaged they said we will continue to use artificial intelligence to prove that this guy is the mahdi and his dreams or something he says is actually true it is fake it is false it is laughable it is ridiculous it is absolute nonsense so what i'd like you to know is don't fall for these things 
And at the same time, what you must realize is artificial intelligence is being used to create a little bit of disorder and to uh, create misinformation. Al Mahdi is not going to need to, to lie. He's not going to need to create artificial intelligence uh, voiceovers of scholars of the world in order to prove he's Al Mahdi. Al Mahdi is not going to be using YouTube and TikTok and all of that to try and announce his arrival. This has completed the puzzle that I have been thinking about for a long time. How the Muslim Ummah will believe in one time that the person who they will pledge allegiance to in Mecca is truly the Mahdi? It will not happen, because for an agreement about beards, kunut prayers and other small things, we are not capable. We have an ego over the knowledge that we have. Imam Mahdi will see his success as a leader in a small scope before he is asked to become the leader of this world. That's why he will be chased by a group of people, and Allah will sink that group. That's because people have come to know that he is Al-Mahdi.